Before 1969, the moon was considered a distant, unreachable object in space. Something we could see, but not something we humans could approach. But this changed in July 21st, 1969, when Neil Armstrong became the first man to land and walk on the moon. Suddenly, something distant and abstract became reality. A feat thought that we considered impossible because of the sheer distance between the Earth and the moon was achieved. Likewise, eternity seems to be a concept too far out there for us humans to understand and comprehend. Eternity is time without end, and maybe without a beginning. So how can we make sense of unlimited time? For starters, we measure time with numbers. Some of the greatest math minds in history have wrestled with making sense of infinity and in numbers. I will explore how math has a logical way to manage the infinite. Creating a logical way to work with infinity is truly an amazing accomplishment of thought. Just like landing on the moon is an amazing accomplishment of engineering. And by understanding our infinite collection of numbers, we will have a framework to understand the concept of an infinite time horizon. Once we have our math framework in place, I will take a probing approach to consider the concept of eternity. My approach will be to consider clues from the physical world as we try to understand time throughout eternity. And then after that, we will look at more questions, questions to expand your mind into new and exciting ways. Through this eternity video series, we hope you will see eternity as not only real, but something that impacts our life on Earth. So Dave, what is your plan for the first video? I will kick things off by considering an eternal math pattern from something that's bigger and even more distant than the moon, and that is the sun. Once we appreciate this infinite, beautiful math pattern, I will consider the concept of time and think about whether it can continue without it.